Signaling devices are some of the most important pieces of safety equipment because they can often be the only way to catch someone's attention if you need help. You'll want to bring a few different signaling devices and make sure that you have ones that will work for day and night time. Flares work well in the day and night time, but if you're going to bring them along, make sure that you have at least three and that they haven't expired. Strobes work well at night and can be attached to your equipment while paddling. Make sure you check the batteries beforehand. Smoke canisters are a bit more limiting because they only work well in daylight and they don't work well on windy days. Whistles or horns are also good for getting attention of passing boaters. VHF radios provide the best means of signaling for help because they can reach other boats in the area as well as the Coast Guard. You can also access marine weather forecasts and even make a phone call via marine operator. Make sure that if you are carrying a VHF radio, that you're trained in their use. Cell phones can also come in handy, although you never know when you'll be out of range. There are an incredible number of skills involved with navigating on water, and this video can't come close to covering them all. There are many other books and videos available that cover navigation in real depth. Or better yet, take a course. You'll learn how to use charts, which show water depths, tide characteristics, and the position of navigation aids, such as buoys and lights, as well as notable land features. In order to learn to use charts effectively, you'll also need to learn to use a compass. GPS's can also be incredibly helpful, and it's a great idea to carry one with you. The only problem with them is that they need batteries, and you never want to totally rely on a device that can die on you. 